Hey everybody, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm still confused on why this is tagged Psychological Horror on Steam. So, we're just gonna keep playing. This is where we left off. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw your f throw you for a loop? I don't know. Any anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. I play a lot of horror games, and I still don't understand why this is a horror game. Like, it's just anime. I desperately grasp something something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. I keep seeing, like, a lot of stuff about Monica in the... on the Steam, like, community page. And I've been avoiding all the spoiler pictures I guess you could say that, but if a story makes me think or makes takes me to another world, I can't really put it down. So real horror is it's often very successful at cha changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Oh yeah, I forgot I have voices. This guy is just like, hello. This one is like, oh. <laughs> the, no. The one in the middle is like deep masculine voice for some reason. This one's like, oh hello. And this one's ah. Oh! <laughs> just this one's just screaming. Well, why is that? Well, I just. Woman's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, woman? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Eh. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine! <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh god. Woman sidles up behind woman and puts her hands on her shoulders. <laughs> I'm not yelling that. My dad is outside in the living room. He's gonna he's gonna hear me scream. I'm not cute. And it's gonna be so weird. I guess I'll do it. I'm not cute! <laughs> woman! I'm I mean woman, you write your own poems? Hey, well I guess sometimes Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you th share, th share them sometime? N no! My dad probably thinks I'm freaking doing some kind of ritual. Woman averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand. I understand how a woman feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The, tr the truest form of writing is, is is writing next to one is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing <coughs> even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <sighs> I guess it's I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I want to 
wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. <clears throat> okay, uh, I have an idea, everyone. <gasps> oh god, that was disgusting. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. You started this woman. Then, next time we meet, I'll, we'll share all of them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, 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 um. <gasps> yeah, let's do it. Okay, her voice is Mas screechy, masculine, ee, and ah. <laughs> okay. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us get a little bit, bit, a little more comfortable with each other, and it'll strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Yoshi? Woman smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with, what the, with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I'd lose my train of thought. They all look so confused. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, what the frick, she's crying now. I'm sorry, I th I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> I'm defenseless against these people. <laughs> Shut up. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these people. <laughs> what is that? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Just for the ladies, man. Simp, simp. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed! <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, uh, thanks. Oh, frick. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight and remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting. Don't make it all share. Monica, Monica looks over at me once more. Yoshi, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. I express myself by playing Resident Evil 7 at 6 a.m. in the morning. the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I only f I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Huh? Hey Yoshi, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's 
right, Sayori and I never walked home together because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yeah! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Woman, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow up, to grow closer to grow closer to one of these girls. Am I gonna have to choose which one to date at some point? That's gonna be really embarrassing. All right, I'll just need to m make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I have literally heard nothing of this game. I should have said that in the last episode. Anyway, and I, and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Do I have to, like, type? Pick one you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem. Happiness, fireflies, bounce, <laughs> explore, charm, oh, wrath. What the hell? Doki Doki. Huh. Strawberry. Okay. Um, crimson. Uh, depression. What the hell? What was it? Eee! Bunny. Um, free. Ah, uh, sunny. No. Pow tears. What? What? I thought she was the happy one. Bad hair. No. Graveyard. Starscape, hopeless, nightgown, fickle, what does that mean, chocolate, valentine, cute, hi again Yoshi, glad to see you didn't run away on us, ha <laughs> nah don't worry, this might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I'll just do regular voices for them, except for the pink haired hair girl. She's still screaming. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Yoshi. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he... Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack! Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. But, you, but if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club. What? No! I didn't want a screenshot! I keep screenshotting on that. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Yoshi only 
GBA best as long as he's having fun. I'm sorry about that, that was disgusting. Anyway, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How to pen Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. You almost, and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? I thought you would be angry. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jip. Shut up! Shut up! Shut the hell up! Shut up, Mr. Mrs. Purple Eyes! I didn't see what they said. Uh, um. Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious, oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, you're me eating brunch or something today, you know? Woo, 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 hey, what, Sayori? What the hell? What's going on? Um, um, not, not really. Uh, uh, don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like. Say you already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not! Uh, what do I do? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking. I guess that, I guess that means it's up to me for Brett to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a present, pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a d big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. A short read, so I should be... I didn't read that. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How's this girl accent? Skipping that phrase. She even picked out a book she think I'll like, despite me not reading much. Thank you, I'll read this because I'm a simp! Not actually a simp. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her, her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rumming, rummaging around in the closet. What the hell is she doing? Man, looks like nobody wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy my something, myself with something literature related by myself like this? I don't know. I guess I could always read some of the book Jury Babe gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. And I'm feeling a little bit like I need to go to the bathroom because I have to pee. I'm going to pause the video real quick. I will be right back. All right, now we can play the game without make, without my bladder feeling like it's going to explode. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and, and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Probably gonna see, seem pretty lame to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everybody what literature is all about. 
problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. 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 Is that how you say it? But it's not like that at all, you know? It's just reading, my man. <laughs> We just need a way of showing that to everybody. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm -hmm. That doesn't solve the problem though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with, some, with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to show, to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? For me it will. I'm a food boy. Woo woo. What kind of food? Ah, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah-ha-ha, ah ha 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 Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative... Shut up. Cupcakes is these then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I know I'm doing a really sucky Russian accent, but just forgive me on it. I'm trying to sound epic. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the un unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding motivation at all. Sayori can, <coughs> Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's like a freaking jump scare. Maybe that's why it's so scary. I'm just kidding. Wah! I opened my eyes to see Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the nap. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a, pr that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. 
Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at her sin. How is it written all over me? You're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. For I keep clicking into OBS. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. And there's toothpastes. And there's a toothpaste stain on your color right there. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't I really don't care about that. Is it really a toothpaste stain though? I should stop speaking, I should rip out my vocal cords, and you don't even keep your blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think that you- Oh my god! Wait, dude, I just roasted her! I just toasted her like a, mar like a marshmallow! That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her- why? Why do you do that? That's just freaking creepy. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh my god, don't show me that view. That's freaking weird. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. How weird it is to have a friend who does <laughs> You're not wrong, Sayo. You are not wrong. Huh? Don't say that! You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Ah! I, 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 I guess. <laughs> Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Don't show me. Please. Why is this one? I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, you would, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? What the hell? I am confused on why this is supposed to be scary. I'm st I'm just here to figure out why it's scary. I'm not into any of this. I'm trying to figure out why this is tagged psychological horror. I'm not saying that, no. D don't say that out loud, woman! <laughs> what the hell is this? Why am I doing this? Why did I think it would be a good idea to start playing this game? I'm probably going to get age restric restricted or something. Anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel... I don't know. But it's so stuffy. Don't do that noise! Don't do that noise. I will punch you. I am willing to punch my monitor if you do that goddamn noise again, woman. She haste unbuttons her blazer once more. Whew. 
Why did they show me that? Why did they say that? Why did they show me that pe point of view? It's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I'm... <laughs> Why? Why am I playing this? Oh, it's because I need to figure out why it's tagged psychological horror. What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I end up... Anyone... Oh my god! <laughs> Why am I being put through this goddamn torture? Why do I have to play this game? Why? I don't even know if it counts as a game. Oh. And you take care of me and better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Please stop saying all this, all these embar- not. Please stop all this age restricting things and words. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little early. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. Uh. I am wasting my day away. I have no school today because it's a it's a holiday and I'm wasting it playing this goddamn weird game. My mom walks in on me. I'm having lots of explaining to do. I guess we are re uh, really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, woman. Ah, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Finally, someone else to talk to! Other than this crazy woman. Okay, everyone. Huh? Woman suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Yoshi, I can't wait to read yours. I don't even know what mine says. It just has, like, random words. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to receive, retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration because I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? I don't know. I'm gonna do any meaning mine and mo. I don't know. Um, probably this. Okay. He's my good friend, after all. Oh my goodness. 
This is so good, Yoshi. Mm. I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Same! I'm playing this game on my on my school day off. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ah ha 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 ha. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more construction than as constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? <sighs> well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think you under I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a Yoshi poem. Okay. That makes it feel extra special. Why am I playing this? I've asked that so many times. I <sighs> like I can feel your fear feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. I know. <laughs> I'm really happy that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention I'm <laughs> the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? That's like I said before, you see? Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. <laughs> Why do I do that? Th th thanks, Sayori. I'm not. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason that I joined. And on that good note, um, how about we end the video? Um, I will see, oh yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe. Maybe buy my merch if you want to. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!